All right, I wanted to show you how to go ahead and rename your groups without having to right click on them. Um, you'll see that these all have names, but they're a little um, unorganized. And so you could go and right click and redo all of them. But um, MetaHopper gives you a way that if you set up a little definition, um, you can do it pretty quickly. There are some limits to it, but so I'm just going to go into my object retrieval. I'm going to go to get groups. And I'm also going to go to my attributes and um, get another set group properties. And then I'm just going to put a couple of panels in here. So, so let's put these guys out. And first, let's take a look at what this get groups is showing us. So it's just going in and getting the groups, right? And so you can see that we have six groups in here. And it's just telling us, yep, that's a group. And then if we go to group styles, it tells us what the style of the group is. So if I were to make that a blob and then update it, it'll show you that that's a blob. And then I can make it back to a box and update it. And it'll show you that it's a box. So you get the point. If I go to nickname, it's going to show all the nicknames. And <clears throat> you're also going to notice they're not in visual order, right? So you've got if you've got them stacked, it does it in order that it's put in. So if you delete one and move them around, then it's not going to be in order. So you just kind of have to deal with that however you want to. Um, but basically, you want to rename all of these without having to go down there and right click on them. So the way you can do that is you can select this guy and right click on it. And we're going to copy data only. So if I copy data only, I can double click on this guy and then right click and paste that data into here. Um, it puts an extra little thing on it, um, which sometimes is a problem, sometimes it's not. And so we're going to look and see if that gives us a problem or not, just, just to give you an idea of how this works. So I'm going to left click out of there. And I'm going to break this first because you might do this. Um, we've mentioned this before. But basically, what you would want to do is take the groups from here, put them into the group. And then you would take the nickname in here and put it in here. And you're going to notice what happens is it goes in and puts every single one of those on every single group. Right? It basically, what we were talking about graphs them onto the groups. And the reason for this is because we didn't set it to multi-line data. So you want to make sure you come in here and set it to multi-line data, right? And then you'll see it goes in and starts doing it, but we're missing one here, right? So the other thing you want to make sure is that within this guy that you don't have like a little extra thing at the bottom, right? So that little extra thing that it put in when I pasted, if I left click in there and backspace it out, and click, it's going to put it in there. So there are a couple of things that you might run into that will give you a problem. But now at this point, I can just come in here and I can just rename them, right? So if I just say circle, maybe I want that to be capitalized. So a little time, you know, three or four minutes to set this up. I'm going to control C that and then I'm just going to paste it right here and then you'll see that it will rename all of those so now if you have these guys you know now you know which ones they are you can rename them but you know you just have to start out figure out where they are and then come in and you'll give this little guy and then you could go and say oh the name it's too long so I'm just gonna do TR and CI right and so however you want to do this or C CI is a little weird right so C whoops so just come in here and update them however you want. So it just creates a little list for you to do that. Okay?